Making a useful product depends a great deal on the material you choose and the properties of that material. The properties of the material depend very crucially on the nature of the atoms and molecules in the material and how they are held together. The simplest property of a material is its states of matter, solid, liquid, or gas. Brick and stone are very strong, solid materials in compression. They do not squash or distort even under heavy loads. This is because the atoms in the compounds that make brick and stone are very strongly bonded together in a three-dimensional array. The chemical bonds lock all the atoms together in a lattice so they can't move. This is why brick or stone are so useful for building. Cooking oil is a liquid. It spreads out to cover the whole of the base of the frying pan. Cooking oil needs to be liquid and a good conductor of heat and not to break down when it's heated. The molecules in cooking oil are not linked together by bonds between the molecules, so they spread out in the pan. But the atoms in the cooking oil molecules are strongly held together by chemical bonds inside the molecule, so the cooking oil does not decompose when heated. Carbon dioxide molecules move about very quickly, so they are a gas at room temperature. When the pressure is released by unscrewing the top of the bottle, the carbon dioxide comes out from being dissolved in the drink and forms bubbles. These make the drink taste nice. Carbon dioxide has to be a gas and soluble in water to be like this. Most materials are solids. A solid can have many different properties. A solid knife is made of an array of metal atoms that are strongly held together by sharing outer electrons. This makes it a hard material candle is made of wax. It is made from atoms joined to make molecules. The molecules are only held together by weak forces, so the wax is a soft material. Metals are all very useful materials, but you need to choose the right metal for the use you want. Steel used to make drill bits is harder than most materials. The atoms are very strongly bonded together. The drill bit will cut through aluminium. Aluminium has the atoms held together less strongly so the atoms can slip past each other. Aluminium can be bent and shaped but still retains some strength. The steel for drill bits, however, is brittle and just breaks when it's bent. All metals conduct electricity. Solder is a mixture of tin and lead. The atoms re held together quite weakly, but solder melts easily and can be used to make electrical connections. You wouldn't make anything out of solder, it's too soft but it conducts electricity very well.